I know it, it would be hard to imagine uh, what it's like to be around this racket so many fucking years because I always have to check myself when I make statements or assumptions like, am I predicating this on the way things were 30 or 50 or more years ago, you know? It becomes overwhelming. I go to the conventions and it's just like, it's insane. It's the level, the quality level and the intelligence of, you know, a lot of the people and it's just so phenomenal. You know, it just took off. Tom DeVita, what set him apart was that he was doing tattoos, because nobody else was doing tattoos. Of course, it was completely underground. And if anybody said anything, he said, we're going to see the tattoo man. He was so thoroughly integrated in being a denizen of Manhattan. Tom was reflecting his environment through his tattoos. Were you known for your designs? No, I was known for $30 tattoos. <laughs> I was heavily into comic books and stuff when I was younger, so there was a lot of that kind of influence. If somebody asked me for a woman or a figure, I just go crazy with it. Valerie can characterize a mood and a feeling in a tattoo. She understands that stuff. I think she understood that stuff before she understood tattooing. I hadn't planned on giving Valerie a job. It was almost by mistake, to be quite honest. Now she can tattoo circles around most of the tattooers that work around her. Now everyone knows Valerie Vargas. Well, when I first met her, I think it was probably more simple. It was just simply that I was just like, I'm happy. Or now, I think it's more of a part of my life. Do you want to be a personality? We never dreamed that it would get like this. In terms of just art, like the imagery and tattooers working on stuff that doesn't necessarily have to be tattooed. And I don't know anything else in the world that, that happened like that.